documents that we do have, the Bible, are not the same. They do not agree with each other. And this is why you have so many versions and variations and differences of, of sex and orthodox and they believe in this book and this version and that version and that version because it did lose its way along the chain of transmission. It, it was, and that's all part of God's wisdom because it was not the last message. It was not meant to be preserved forever. It was a message that was for a time. So therefore it was part of God's will that it not be preserved. But God said with this Qur'an, it actually says in the Qur'an that this is my revelation and I will protect it. Meaning that this is my last message to humanity, therefore I will protect it. And, and it was protected in the hearts of human beings. So I, 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 that's, that's how we do it, is we look at the chain of evidence. Just like if you went to a courtroom and somebody brought evidence, not only does there need to be evidence, there needs to be a chain of evidence from the moment someone found it to the moment it got where it is today. And if there's a chain of evidence, if it's broken somehow, that evidence is thrown out in a court of law. So we do the same thing with the Qur'an and the Bible. The chain of evidence is there, it goes all the way back to the beginning. You're very welcome. So, and some more questions at the, at the table? We don't have time? No, we're out. that's it. We're out. We'll just finish it. Okay, one, I'll take one more, last one. All right, Give we'll people la last question. Yes, and then you can meet me at the table, I'll be out there. Did the question, everybody hear the question? Do I believe that Jesus was crucified and died? No. I do not believe that Jesus was crucified. It's not a, I, I don't believe it due to my studies of the Bible before I became a Muslim, but it's also part of a Muslim tenet that Jesus was not crucified, but that he was taken to God, into heaven, just like Elijah was ascended into heaven, for his second return. We as Muslims believe that Jesus will return. I'm hoping that it happens any day now, because when Jesus returns, he will set the record straight about who he is. That will be his mission, is to return to this earth and make clear who he was and what he would do. So that's a part of the Muslim belief. Um, thank you very much for your time. Now, now, before anybody leaves, I have to stop. I gotta, nobody move. I have four black belts. I will keep you here. <laughs> I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that. Before you leave, um, for the Muslims, I'm going to tell you about this project, and this is for the non-Muslims too. I have a project where I make DVDs, tens of thousands of them a year, and send them out with lectures like what you heard and all of the evidences that I talked about. All these types of things are sitting right here on this table. And I give out tens of thousands of them a year. And it's a project that is not like some office, and no, it's my basement, and, and, and my wife and kids are the slave drivers. Um, <laughs> I don't have a sweatshop, but they do it voluntarily. But we make these DVDs and give them out all over the world. But the only way I'm able to do that is if you Muslims contribute to the project by purchasing the DVDs and giving them to non-Muslims or copying them over and over and over and over and over again. There's no copyrights in Islam to me. So you copy them all you want. You cannot copyright knowledge. I don't know how you can do that. But uh, give them out. So what I would like to do is, and these are all I have. This is it. Don't make me take these home because customs had a field day with me when I had all these DVDs. <laughs> I, I, my, my challenge is for every Muslim in here to come and get one, two, three, or four of these and give them to our guests that were here today. Because if not, I'm going to give them to them and I'm going to be the only one that gets the, the reward in it. Um, but I want to be able to make more. So I challenge everyone to come get one. They're only $10. Uh, we sell them for $15 in the States. But when I saw the price of living here in Australia, I had to, I had to, <laughs> I had to say it's too much. So $10, come and get one, one, two, three, or four, and give them to our guests, please. Thank you very much for your time, and know that guidance comes from you. Oh, and anyone wishing to get in touch with me, you can do it right here. This is my website. <laughs>